Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. So today's video is a little bit different in that instead of me doing a DIY I'm going to talk to you guys mainly about what the goal is for Carnival of Creativity and how everything is about to change really. Um, so if you like this video or if you like these type of videos, please make sure to subscribe and comment down below. Without further ado, I'm just going to dive right into everything. To start off with, this video is also going to be mark the release of my rebranding. So that means a new, um, what am I even going to say? Like a new look, so there'll be a new banner on the channel, there'll be a new um, end card, there'll be new social media tiles and things like that. Now this is something that I've really been wanting to do for absolutely ages. My channel is now about three years old, I think. Yeah. Yeah, my channel is now about three years old and the ones that I made when I first started my channel, I was 16 um, and I really liked them, I thought they were really good when I did them, but it becomes ever more apparent as you move on that they're just quite not fitting or I started really to not like them, but it's the type of, I don't know, tiny little thing that just always got pushed to the bottom of the pile. Um, so I have finally done it. It was something that I wanted to do for my channel's first year anniversary, let alone the second or the third, but it's just got to the point now that it needed doing. I needed a fresh start and a fresh look for Carnival of Creativity and I think this was a really good time to do it actually. So I shall try and remember to screen, not screen, grab, but like show you guys here. If not, they will be able to be checked out on the end of videos and things like that, as well as um, on my channel banner as well. So the second point of business is how everything's changing. Now, you might have noticed for a few weeks now that I've used this as my um, intro and outro background. That was purely because my week was so busy that I didn't have time to film my intros and outros until it came to editing my video and uploading my video and then me suddenly realising that I hadn't done one. So that was the primary reason for that. However, you're probably going to see a lot more of this background or a background close around this room um, because I'm actually moving jobs. Now, the primary reason for this was purely because I wanted more time to grow um, the whole Carnival of Creativity brand. Like, there is so much I want to do with this. Um, a couple of months ago I started like reviving my blog, but that's kind of gone down the drain just because everything's been so, so busy, what we're getting ready to move. and me trying to jumble the mess that is in my brain on paper so I've got a plan. Um, but yes, so the plan is, hopefully, I'm going to, once I've dropped my hours, so I'm due to drop my hours in the next few weeks, so I should have loads of time to do everything. Now this means I will be creating craft kits to sell, it also means I will be creating a whole range of like products and glass things because I'm really into glass fusing at the moment. Um, I bought myself a microwave kiln but that's a whole other story. Um, so I'm hoping to sell all of these types of things at craft fairs and if I can get my act together create an Etsy store as well. Um, this is in addition to me signing up to Neil's Yard. Now if you haven't heard of Neil's Yard, Neil's Yard is an organic, um, like completely natural, I'd say cosmetic company, but it's not like makeup cosmetics, it's like hand washes and um, 
body washes and facial cleansers and things like that. All sorts of products for you to put on your face and body basically. Um, and I absolutely love this company. Like I didn't even know they did um, like consultancy and things like that. But I absolutely love this company. So when I had the opportunity to join, not only join, but to join at half the cost, I did it purely because their essential oils are amazing and all of my like soap and candle and um, I don't know, like wax and stuff DIY, I always use their essential oils. So if nothing else, it was worth the input for me. But I absolutely love their products and so I will be selling things like that at fairs and things as well. Um, so that's sort of on the side of kind of love creativity, that doesn't really count, I guess. But as I was saying, anyway, I wanted to create all these craft kits to sell and like different decorations and things in time for Christmas, as well as running workshops. Now, I'm yet to look into where these workshops will take place, um, but I have a whole list on my phone of different workshop ideas that I really want to run. Um, so, I don't know, the will is definitely there, it's just putting it into practice now, I guess. Um, is that it? I'm sure there was something else, I'm forgetting my mind, honestly. Um, so, I, yeah, the workshops is something else that I want to do as well, sort of in conjunction with that. And I guess that's where the two link, um, like kind of all the creativity stuff and the Neil's Yard stuff because there is a create range in Neil's Yard which is right up my alley because I love anything creative and anything like that and it allows for really bespoke items as well so I can run workshops and things like that like as parties and things and people can buy products and things like that that aren't necessarily as personal but the create line allows you to create yourself bespoke products just from like a base whether it be hand and body wash or um, like a moisturizer or something like that that allows you to customize your scent to something that you really love um, so the whole idea of that, just, it just excites me. Um, I think that's really about it. I feel like I'm missing something. I probably should have written down everything in a list. Um, yeah, who knows. What have I said? I've said about workshops, I've said about craft kits, I've said about the rebranding. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. So that is what I'm looking to do in my newfound free time. That's why I, well, the primary reason why I've changed jobs just to down my hours, just because this type of thing is what makes me happy and what I really enjoy. So I don't know, it's just worth it for me. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to achieve that by working what I was working as well it was just not doable so that is why I did that if you haven't already please make sure to check out my rebranding um, and yeah I will potentially do another video on all the products and things once I've got them all sorted and lined up or maybe even a video on the process and things like that because I'm currently sorting out all the packaging and things for the craft kits and things like that so if that's something you'd like to see please comment down below and if you haven't already subscribe and I will see you all next time bye guys